Hey, YouTube. Well, today I got something in that is, I can't believe, I mean, I can believe, but I finally broke down, ordered me some uh, lithium ion batteries. Cause I was just using some old car batteries for my uh, solar power setup. So I finally got me some lithium ion batteries and here's the box. So I just want to show myself, you know, opening it. So I'm gonna put my camera down down like that zoom out that way they can watch me of course i don't have a knife on me so i'm gonna just use uh, my screwdriver there we go oh. user manual on the top and these are the 300 amp hour 12 volt batteries. You got the bolts. It weighs, I don't know, probably weighs about 60, probably about 20, 60, 80 pounds. All right, take this little caps off. Check the voltage. Three, 13.18. So I'm gonna go ahead and charge them before I do a capacity test on it. I got two bolts right here. So I do have two of these to equal 24 volts since I have a 20 volt system. And now, I did a capacity test on my car batteries, and they're putting out about 30, 30 amp hours. So basically, one of these batteries is going to take the place of 10 car batteries. So I have two of these, which means it would take the place of 20 car batteries. So it's huge, 300 amp hours. So, all right, let me get this hooked up to my solar power. All righty. So I got my lithium ion hooked up down here to my wires. These were the batteries I was using. These were just some um, car batteries. So these are no longer on my system. These are on my system now. So up here, I'm charging 80 amps, the batteries. My solar power is putting out almost a kilowatt. I'm only using 100 watts right now inside of my RV. But, so most of this energy is coming from my solar panels, but I did put it, you know, for I did put it charge uh, solar and mains. So therefore, I'm charging with both solar and from the grid. So I was going to charge them with this right here, but this right here is only if I did if I do if I do 24 volt, this only puts out 10 amps. So I figured it'd be a lot faster if I charge up these batteries using my my uh, hybrid inverter right here. So we'll see how long it takes. Oh, okay, I finally hit over a kilowatt. And as you see outside, it's not really sunny, it's kind of cloudy. So it's producing pretty good. So I'm gonna let this run until my battery's topped off. And then I'm gonna do a capacity test using this tester right here. It is gonna take a long time for it to complete the capacity test. But hey, you know, since you're watching this on YouTube, it's literally gonna be like that and I'll have the results for you. So hopefully it'll be around 300 amp hours. I think all total is 3,500. Let's see if it tells me on it. Yeah, so right here, let me zoom in. So I should be hoping to hit this number here, the 3,840 watt hours. So let's see if I hit the 3,840 watt hours uh, 300 amps on my capacity test. All right, well, just gotta wait for this thing to finish charging and I'll be back. All righty. So yesterday I um, got my battery, my new batteries uh, already cycled, already charged back up. So I'm doing a capacity test on the second um, cycle of the battery. <clears throat> Sorry, I just woke up. So what I did, let me go to my office right here. 
So there's the uh, 300 amp hour battery. Here's my tester so far. And I, did, I put it on last night late. So it's about midnight when I put it on. And right now it's already at 134 uh, amp hours. So it means it's almost halfway to the 300. So, all right, it was served at uh, 2.7, 2.6. It started out at a uh, 2.9. So, well, I am going to go get me some breakfast. So, see you later. Alrighty, I'm back. So, last time I checked this was early this morning. And as you can see, it's already been running for 15 hours, 10 minutes, 214 uh, amp hours, 2,735 watt hours. And we're at 12.6 volts, 14.3 amps. It's been at this for almost all day. I've been coming in here checking on it a lot today. So we're getting close to 300 amp hours. All right, so now we've been running for 19 hours, 55 minutes. Uh, still at 4.3 amps. We're at 282 watt hours, 3,589 watt hours. And we're at 12.3, but man, this thing is still going. We're so close to the finish line. Uh, so according to the manual, let's see where it's at. Okay. We got the 300 amp hour one. If I go here, the uh, discharge is 10.08 uh, volts. I went ahead and went to 10.9, uh, so it should disconnect. It will disconnect at when the voltage gets to 10.9, and we'll see how many um, amp hours and watt hours we get out of the uh, out of the battery. All right, so I had to go. Went to lunch. Went to Chick Fil A. Had a good old Christian chicken sandwich. The um, had the uh, number one deluxe grilled because i just like the i don't know chick-fil-a and grilled just yeah it tastes really good anyways just got back and now look where i'm at look where i'm at let me zoom in here so now we're at 297 amp, uh, amp hours so close to hitting 300 i mean the voltage is dropping now it's 11.5 when i got home it was 11.7 so the bolts are just dropping fast. I just hope it's going to hit that magic number, 300. 300 amp hours. All right, we're about to hit the 300. Look at that voltage. Now it's 11.2. Uh, Two nine nine dot nine nine, three hundred amp hours. Now let's see if I can hit that uh, the watt hours. It's supposed to be three eight four zero. So let's see if the watt hours can get to three eight four zero. All right, so you can see now the test just as ended. All right, so let me turn all these knobs down. Let's see what we got. All righty, so I did not hit the 3840, but that's pretty dang close. But I did hit the 302 amp hours so extremely happy about that it took 21 hours and 15 minutes so 21 hours and 16 minutes pretty much and the fan's starting to slow down there we go 
All right, so that is a very successful test, if you ask me. Now, what I'm gonna do, since I have two batteries, this is the one I just got finished testing. Uh, so it took 20 hours to fully, um, you know, do the capacity test on this one right here. This one here is still fully charged. Now, I don't wanna hook them up since I have a battery that's fully discharged, a battery that's fully charged. What I'm gonna do is I hook this one up that's fully charged up to the capacitor tester and I have it running at 13.8. I have like see I have not reset it any of this any of these settings so it still shows you know 303 amp hours. I literally just now hooked it up. So this one is discharging at 13.8. I'm charging this one with my lithium charger at uh I want to say at 16 amps. No, okay, yeah, okay. So this one is charging at 13.9 amps. This one is, okay, this one's charging at 13.9. This one's discharging at 13.8. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna leave this going for all tonight. So in about 10 hours, I'll come. This one will be halfway charged. This one will be halfway discharged. And then I'll hook them back up to my inverter for tomorrow. So that way they'll be sort of balanced. I just don't want to hook it back up when one is fully discharged and one is fully charged. So I like to get them, you know, halfway. So we'll see. Yep, 14 amps. Alrighty, guys. Well, I am going back inside because I am tired. And it's been a long day. I've been I've been building a bed today. So alrighty guys. Well, I think this uh is about all I'm going to show on this uh, capacity test about these new batteries. But I am extremely happy with them. So, all right, guys. Well, you guys have a good night. And I'll see you next time on Ubi's Tips.